It's just like Zelda. Who's there? What's that? <laughs> What's up, drone? Nah, bro, I'm just chilling. I'm playing Mario 64. Man, it's crazy. They could probably sell me this game 50 times over if they wanted to. I just keep giving Nintendo my money. Ho hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to call you back real quick. I'm going to call you back real quick. Fuck is saying that? Am I am I going crazy? What the fuck is tunic? There's no such thing as tunic. There's no such thing as tunic. There's no such thing as tunic. These journals are wrong. Nothing compares to Zelda. Welcome to the salt mine. <laughs> Ghosts. Sometimes they are benevolent. Sometimes they are helpful. And sometimes they are just a figment of our imaginations. When it comes to fanboys though, their ghosts are always real. Fanboys are quite simply always haunted by the truth. The truth. The truth. Oh, fanboys, you never cease to amaze me, bro. What's up, miners? How y'all doing today? Been a, been, a, been a little bit of time. I've been taking a break, dealing with some personal stuff. But man, I just had to come back to make this video because I got something that's familiar, but yet but different, different at, at the, the same, same time. time. Something that you, you guys are used to, you know, hitting, but something that you probably haven't had in a while. If you haven't guessed it, bro, I'm talking about some of that Nintendo salt. Me personally, I love indie developers. In my mindset, in between, these big AAA releases, indie developers are putting gaming on their backs, hands down. And I appreciate seeing somebody put the effort into something that they want for six, seven years, and then getting the recognition that they deserve for all of their hard work. Look at my content, bro. You guys think I've been doing this for a couple months? Nah, bro. This is years. Editing for big YouTubers, figuring out how this shit works. I got a soft spot for these developers. I got a soft spot for anybody that puts in the work and grinds for stuff now with tunic coming out of course hitting game, game pass everyone has been talking about this game for the last i don't know like week or so me personally i've been playing it i've put about 33 hours into the game it's fun i like the game it reminds me of zelda but it's like mixed with a little bit of souls it has its own little charm to it but before you fanboys before y'all get in the comments talking shit because if you find this video i'm pretty sure you will i just need you to know there's nothing wrong with someone paying homage to a genre that they enjoy they don't make Zelda games like that anymore. And there's nothing wrong with someone wanting to make that. With that being said, journalists have been coming out and pretty much saying or echoing the exact same thing that I've been saying. This game gives Zelda vibes. It is what it is, man. The dude was probably inspired by those games. With that being said, oh man, the fanboys came out the woodworks, bro. They were crawling out of Mario's yeah. asshole to talk shit and downrank this game on Metacritic ridiculous nintendo drones i'm gonna need you to put your big boy pants on because i might rip one into you for this one anyway all my miners get ready because i dug up some salt for y'all today when i first saw this game like seven years ago i was so keen to play it but now that i have it is a disappointment it's not even close to it being as good as zelda let alone the awesome zelda games released in the last few years skip tunic 
Play a link between worlds and Link's awakening. Basically, this game is boring. Combat is unsatisfying, there are too many puzzles, and the puzzles just feel like roadblocks to make the game longer. This is tons and tons of repetition. Sure, the world is pretty for a bit, but there is almost no variety in scenery or art. I could go on. Don't trust the journals. Most of the big sites are buddies with the dev, which is yet another concerning trend with indies. <laughs> All right, before I even dig into this shitty ass post, look at this rating, that shit is a two. If you have a rating between one to 10, we can agree that rating something between zero and four means that shit is practically unplayable. And you motherfuckers are insulting these devs, rating shit's zeros, ones, just because it's not your game. The game's not broken, the game plays phenomenally the controls work fine oh the game's too hard stop acting like a bunch of bitches bro are you, are you, you really, really a gamer? gamer and then he says this game is tons of repetition so is every zelda game you do the same thing in all the zelda games you're running around you're solving puzzles you said this has too many puzzles it feels like roadblocks what do you think zelda games are it's a shit ton of isometric puzzles bro and then he says go back and play a link between worlds if you want to play a zelda game what if you already played it what if you beat it what if you want something new that doesn't count this game is full of its own charm you may not like the game but you have to agree the game is at least playable one of the most boring games i've played there's a reason the original zelda's game style is dead and buried most of the time i've spent playing this game has been wandering around wondering what to do if you aren't using a guide or talking to people like all the reviewers did to figure out what the hell to do this game is a boring chore all right let me address a few things because i did a little bit of research right if i get some stuff wrong feel free to correct me because i like my community y'all y'all don't understand i love you guys i've been dealing with a little bit of sadness but you guys have been making me feel just just a little better man y'all leave me some comments y'all say some great things so i love y'all but anyway let's get back to this zelda i've been doing research because i needed to figure out how these original zelda games work but apparently uh in the legend of zelda you're actually supposed to read the manual alongside playing the game now when you play tunic you locate pieces of the manual he woke up on this island he doesn't know what's going on initially he doesn't know what's going on he has no idea but you can find these little pages and build your own booklet inside the game that tell you what's going on what you have to do your powers items in the game and how to use everything and this is coming from somebody who never read manuals these things these i never read these ever i remember getting them in games i never opened them i can let your opinion stand maybe the game is boring to you that is completely fine and valid that is your opinion but for you just like the last guy to rate the game a two rating stuff that low means that it is broken it is fundamentally bad if there's nothing wrong with the game how can you rate it that low you don't like it that's fine if i don't like elden ring i'm not gonna go rate that shit a zero because the game is hard that doesn't mean the game is bad the game moved over 12 million units apparently a lot of people like the game it's just not my game bro that doesn't mean it's a two if you want your zelda games to play like dark souls here you go personally i didn't enjoy it outside of the music you know what i said on twitter this is like zelda and dark souls light it's like a baby dark souls you gotta get used to dodging swinging and timing your hits do you have this same sentiment for older zelda games because if you're rating this game a one then i would assume zelda games are a one low quality knock off zelda. zelda game not optimized and slow loading gameplay loop was underwhelming all right bro if this is low quality then zelda's low quality i, I just have to say that if this is a low quality game then them zelda games are low quality what are you playing on a potato Th these types of ratings and comments is what lets me know you guys are just a bunch of fanboys all i can say is the game is boring just a zelda knockoff that doesn't do it right but can't complain it's on game pass zero, zero. you're saying that you can't complain it's on game pass yet you took the time out of your day to make a metacritic account and rate the game a zero you fanboys are some bums man garbage game it's a low quality zelda don't play it zelda's better bad is, is that what happens 
you guys just eventually revert to fucking caveman you can't even structure your sentences properly and then he gave it a zero surprise surprise very bad a shameless copy of zelda china bad and cheap a disappointment i'm gonna need you to explain that comment a shameless copy of zelda china what does that even mean and he gives it a zero one of the worst games in 2022 one of the worst games Wor worse than babylon okay it's literally a mediocre mobile game overhyped because it's like zelda and is indie no one's overhyping it because of that man people have been interested in this game since it was announced it's finally out and people like it again just because it's not your game doesn't mean it's a zero horrible game design looks like a mobile game shameless ripoff of zelda and dark souls complete garbage don't waste your time with this one look dude every game is inspired by some other type of game a lot of games are inspired by something else that somebody else has played tell me games that have no ties to nothing to, to anything else you mean to tell me uncharted ain't like laura croft indiana jones this is a problem with being a fanboy right I don't think fanboys actually enjoy gaming as a whole. I think they just enjoy what the company that they fanboy over make. They, they cap for these games and that's the only thing they ever talk about. Okay, whatever, great. They're a showcase of what the console could do, fine. But don't y'all ever play anything else? Y'all don't, right? That, that This is all y'all play because this is the only thing y'all talk about, clearly. This salt is giving me fucking high blood pressure, man. If you enjoyed the content, slap the shit out of that like button. Subscribe, man. Join the family. Join the minor. And be part of the community. Leave a comment. Oh, shit. <laughs> Leave a comment. Say hey. Say what's up, man. I usually try to reply to everybody. Anyway, with that being said, man, peace. Salt out.